ladies and gentlemen, a double X-Class solar flare and the coldest January of your lifetime, exclamation mark, question mark, asterisk. Yeah, well, as we head to the peak of solar maximum in 2025, today, the sun has been super duper mega active with over 20 M-class flares. And now I guess two or three X-class flares, especially if you're uh, counting UTC time, GM time, and Texas time or whatever. Oh, yeah. Super duper happy new year um, in 48 hours and 38 minutes. Somebody got really mad at me and posted a comment when I said we made it through 2024. But you know what? People are strange. But yeah, of course, when the sun acts weird, earthy weather gets weird, and then people can lose their minds. And there's a strong possibility of a strong geomagnetic storm, possibly G3, K7, on the very last day of the year. So there you go. Fuego. Volcano. Erupto. But yeah, they're saying freezing temperatures may hit damn near everybody in the lower 48 in the first week or so of January. So that's exciting, right? Speaking of fuego, there are parts of Arizona that are literally on fire right now. And in this story of fire and ice, there's a decent chance for snow or ice in Texas around the first week of uh, 2025. January 8th-ish. The models have been showing it on or off. Nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. But I cover ice like I do hurricanes. So I'm letting you know about it now. And then we'll discuss it as the first week or the 8th of January approaches. The godfather of AI who helped build it now warns he's taken the chance of human extinction due to AI up a notch to 20% from the 10% he used to think it was. Now he's like, yeah, I guess there's a one in five chance now of 20%. So that's crazy. So yeah, doom so bad. I guess the boobs are back. All right. I hope you're staying cool. And I hope you had a wonderful year, a great Christmas. I hope you're having a super Hanukkah, a magical Kwanzaa. And... We will all have a wonderful 2025. But know that I appreciate you. And I super duper appreciated Jimmy Carter, who passed away at 100 years today. Everybody seemed to refer to him as a really good guy. And that's how he always came off, as a really good guy. And he said the judge of a civilization is how it treats its weakest people, you know, like the homeless or other people who cannot defend themselves. 